have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. It didn't say you have not because you don't make enough. It simply said you have not because you ask not. But you don't ask because you ain't got that together. Well, Lord, if I could just stay with him a little bit longer, maybe you don't need him. Maybe he the reason you ain't got nothing now. I've been with him eight years. Well, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want eight more years of this? God can't give you what you want because you want to hold on to what you got. You can't tell God how to bless you. I just, I'm just being me. I stay uniquely who I am because you are okay just the way you are because you God, he wanted you to be just like you are. That God I serve that done this for me, he'll do the same thing for you. Some of us need somebody to hold our hands. Sometimes we need somebody to help us out. Be willing to reach out. Be willing to get some assistance to take you to the next level. All of us are like the blind man at some point in our lives standing on the corner waiting for somebody to lead us across. Need some help. Need someone to reach out to us. To throw out the lifeline. To help us go across some treacherous waters. We need that kind of assistance because we grow up from the people we have in our lives that can enrich our lives professionally, spiritually, and all the dimensions of our lives. We don't grow in a vacuum. What are the fears you have that maybe you need some help as you assess your strengths and your weaknesses, as you begin to approve yourself and your passions and your dreams and your goals, if you decide to experience all of your true potential, as you decide to manifest all of your greatness, if I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of failure, the fear of, of standing by myself, of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? You know how many people do things they don't want to do because they want everybody to like them? Excuse me, special announcement. Everybody's not going to like you. But you know, there are a lot of people who won't take positions on issues, who won't take a stand for things they believe in because they don't want to make anybody mad. I don't know what the secret of success is, he said, but here's what I know what the secret of failure is, trying to please everybody. We all go through unfair situations. We were overlooked for a promotion, or came down with an illness, somebody walked out of a relationship. It's easy to get discouraged and think, that's just life, a bad break, nothing I can do about it. You may not be able to, but God can. He's a God of justice. He has seen everything you've been through, every person that did you wrong, every lonely night, every tear. He said in Hebrews, I will repay the exact compensation owed you. It may not have been fair, but don't worry, payback is coming. God is going to make up for the wrongs that were done to you. Those people that put you at a disadvantage. Don't live bitter, thinking you have to get even. It's not your battle, the battle is the Lord's. He knows what you're owed, he's keeping the records. He'll not only take care of the opposition, he'll make it up to you. You may have been raised in an unhealthy environment. Nobody was there to make you feel encouraged, loved, and valuable. It seems like that sets you back, but people don't determine your destiny. What you didn't get, who wasn't there for you, is not going to keep you from your purpose. God sees how you were treated, and he's saying payback is coming. He's going to show you favor because of what happened. The enemy meant it to stop you. God's going to use it to increase you. He's going to open new doors, bring opportunity, joy, fulfillment that you wouldn't have seen if that had not happened. Instead of being discouraged, turn it around. Father, thank you that payback is coming. I know you're on the throne. You're fighting my battles. You're my vindicator. Because you honor God, because you're keeping him first place, you have an advantage. You're on his payroll. Now quit living worried, thinking you're falling behind. Those people at work left you out. Now you could never get to where you want to be. God is in control. One touch of his favor will catapult you ahead. He knows how to move the wrong people out of the way. They may be stopping you now, but they're not going to stop you your whole life. Why? Payback is coming. Keep doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. You are not working under people. You are working under God. When you know you're on his payroll, you don't get upset when unfair things happen, discouraged because somebody is treating you badly, or give up on a dream because you had a disappointment. You know payback is coming. Here's what I've learned. Nobody can pay you back like God can pay you back. Just ask the Israelites. 
They had been in slavery for 430 years. One generation after another, mistreated, forced to work long hours, given quotas that were impossible to meet. I'm sure they thought that was their destiny. That's the way it'd be for their children, their grandchildren. It was just bad luck. They were born at the wrong time, born into hardship. Things may not change overnight, but if you'll stay in faith, there will come a point where God will say, enough is enough. It's payback time. He's going to turn things around, not just bring you out. He'll pay you back for the injustice. He's going to pay you back for an unfair childhood. He's going to pay you back for the promotion that should have been yours or pay you back from those people that tried to damage your reputation. God said, I have seen the afflictions of my people. I have heard their cries and I am coming down to deliver them. You may have been in a difficulty for a long time. God is saying to you what he said to them, I am coming down to do something about it. This is a new day. What has hindered you in the past, the sickness, the betrayal, the people that did you wrong, that is not permanent. Payback is coming. Healing is coming. Vindication is coming. Promotion is coming. New relationships are coming. You were not created to go through life lonely. And that person that left you, that didn't recognize your value, that maybe told you you're not smart enough, good enough, attractive enough, don't believe those lies. You've been made in the image of Almighty God. He calls you a masterpiece. He's crowned you with favor. He moved that person away so he could bring someone that recognizes who you are. Someone that celebrates you, that cherishes you, that can't wait to be with you. When God pays you back, it's going to exceed your expectations. You're going to think, I never dreamed life could be this great. Never dreamed I could feel this good. Never dreamed I'd be this blessed, this happy, this fulfilled. That's the God who pays you back. Now, I believe you are closer than you think. Things are about to shift in your faith. People that are against you are suddenly going to shift and be for you. They don't even understand why. They can't explain it. it. They didn't have a choice. It's God causing them to be good to you. That sickness looks permanent. The medical report says learn to live with it. Now get ready. It's about to shift. Healing is coming. Wholeness is coming. That struggle, the lack, not able to get ahead. Maybe you can look back. It's been in your family line for generations. Nobody's been able to break out. Get ready. You're the one. A shift is coming. Ideas, creativity, promotion, contracts, real estate. It's going to come into your hand. That's God paying you back. Now, some of this payback is from what your forefathers worked for and didn't receive.
They weren't treated right. They weren't respected, given what they deserve. But God has all the records. He knows what your family is owed. You're going to come into generational payback. Blessings that have been accruing in your family's account. God has not forgotten about your great-grandparents that honored Him. People in your family line that did the right thing but didn't get what they deserve. Part of this payback is houses that you didn't build, favor that you didn't work for, promotions when you didn't have the qualifications. He's a God of justice. He's going to pay you back. Moses went to the Pharaoh and told him that God said to let the Israelites go. But he wouldn't listen to Moses. So God sent plague after plague on Pharaoh and his people. He finally changed his mind. As the Israelites left, some two million people, I'm sure they were excited, singing, dancing. This was a dream come true. After generations, they weren't going to have to work these long hours, live oppressed and burdened. This was a great miracle in itself just to be free. They were satisfied, but God wasn't satisfied. He said in Exodus 3, I will see to it that the Egyptians treat you well. They will load you down with gifts so you will not leave empty-handed. On their way out, the Israelites asked their captors for their gold, their silver, their jewelry, their clothing. God gave them favor and they freely gave it to the Israelites. For generations, they had been loaded down with burdens, loaded down with injustice. Now they were loaded down with blessing, loaded down with valuables. They left pushing wheelbarrows full of treasures. What was that? God paying them back for 430 years of injustice. God saw what was unfair, not only to them, but to the generations before them.